There's a tool that I use called Neuron Writer. One of my favorite aspects of it is it has um, this NLP uh, based recommendations to improve your content. Really just infusing your writing with the, the language that people use when they search for specific um, questions that your article answers. So we're going to optimize an existing article that I've already written and we're going to go through the workflow of how this, um, how I use Neuron Writer to optimize my natural language processing. Check the video description. I'll have this workflow in a Google Doc. Um, so in case you miss any of the steps, I'll have everything outlined in addition to a link to Neuron Writer and a link to the AppSumo deal and also the free trial. So let's get started. So the first step is to have a Neuron Writer um, account. And um, you can actually test Neuron Writer on a free trial if you don't already have an account. It is a paid software. So um, you can actually, there is a deal on AppSumo, AppSumo, sorry, where you can get a lifetime um, subscription to Neuron Writer. Um, and then they also have like monthly plans that you can get. So once you have your Neuron Writer set up, you will, you know, you have to set up a project, which is easy to do. And then once your project is set up, you um, create a new query. And when you set your project up, you you let Neuron Writer know what specific website you are publishing this content to. So we're going to focus on optimizing existing content. So um, the first, the next step is to tell Neuron Writer which article we want to optimize. Going to my article, and I'm going to copy the URL and simply paste it into Neuron Writer. After you paste the URL, you also let it know what keyword you're trying to target. So in this example, I'm going to target AI tools for writing. And then you just paste that into the, the um, this query box and you start the process. I'm optimizing for the United States in, Eng in the language um, English, but you can change this. And if you are writing in a different country or a different language, you can um, basically just change this to what you need it to be. After you have started the query, you it, it, you'll be back on your dashboard and you click into the new query that you created and it's going through an analysis process. And what it's doing now is it's looking at the top results on Google for your specific keyword that you know, you're know you trying to target. And it's looking at like the top 30 results and it's drawing information from all those articles to see what they've done that has been effective and helping them to rank on the first you know three pages in Google. After it does the scan, it's going to give you a list of the articles that it's found that target your same keyword and that are ranking in the first in the top 30 positions. And it by default will select the top 10 to basically it's going to create a uh, an optimization plan for you and for your article. And it's going to use the top 10 articles to develop that optimization plan. So I'm just going to stick with what it selected. You could go through and you could select additional if you want to expand the breadth of what it's looking at, but I'm going to stick with the top 10 that it recommends and then just click next here at the top. So the next thing it's going to do is because I've given it, I've given it the URL for my article, it can automatically import all the content into Neuron Writer. So I'm going to click this button of auto import the content and it's confirming once again that this is the correct URL address. And it is, so I will click import. So this is my article, and we're, let's go over this dashboard in terms of the information that we have here for this article. So there's a few important areas in Neuron Writer when you are in your content editor. The first is your, your SEO score, which is here in this area where you see like a, a score of 54. And what does that mean? What is that in relation to? So out of all the competitors that we're looking at, my content ranks on a scale of 100 it ranks around 54 and out of the the articles that we're looking at um, the highest score that these articles have is 72 and so this basically means that this is a score that neuron writers giving these articles in terms of how optimized the articles are and in order to be competitive i need to increase this score and i need to get it to at least a 72. And so what Neuron Writer has done next is it's put together recommendations on what I need to do to improve my SEO, my optimization. So you'll see here where it says like um, title, headings, terms, words. This is specifically looking at things like NLP, natural language processing. So it's gone through all of my words and it's identified specific terms and phrasing that I have included and then those that I have not. So anything in green means I've 
I have those terms in my writing, which is great, and I have them a good amount of time, so I'm not like over or under using them. Um, if something is in red, that means that I should consider reducing my usage of that term uh, because um, you don't want to overuse a term, it's like keyword stuffing. If something is in yellow, that means you're kind of getting to the upper limit of how much you should use it. And if something is in gray, it means you're not using that term at all. And so you should um, you should include consider including some of these terms to improve your natural language processing. And the goal is make your you know you're making your article more readable, and you're making it more understandable to both search engines and your audience. So the next step is to go through these terms and incorporate them into the writing. And so what you can do is you can just click on a term that you'd like to use. You can copy it to your clipboard, and then you can just go through your text and figure out the best spots to place these terms and phrases. So it's pretty easy just to go through and identify phrases that work in your writing and select them, copy them to your clipboard, and then you can um, just copy and paste into the text. And so, you know, this can be a little bit tedious. Yarnwriter also has an option where you can have it automatically insert um, it, these NLP terms into your writing. I don't have that. You have to upgrade to a certain level to get that feature, which I'm thinking about doing, but that is an option. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, but it would speed up this process. So you have a phrase that you maybe you've overused in your writing. If you click on it, you have the option to highlight the specific term in your text. So you can identify where you're using it and you can go through and remove that term or switch it out with, with something else. To pass through the button through my like the content, the text, I have not optimized my headers, however, and there's actually a separate section in your Neuron Writer. This is basically what I call the optimization panel here on the right. So we're gonna look at the terms in the headings throughout the article. So this looks at like from your H1 through your H3 terms to let you know um, to what extent you're using the right NLP terms throughout your headers. So next I'm going to go through this part of my article and include some of these terms in the headers as well. So I've taken a first pass through both my terms and my headings and I'm up to about a 61 so I still have a ways to go in my optimization process. The next um, area I'm going to look at is my metadata. So if you click on the title area here in your content editor, this pulls up all your meta information like your title, your description, and NeuronWriter can also help you improve this. And it, again, is looking at your competitor's metadata so that you can look at some uh, best practices and how you should structure your metadata. I just went through and I included some of the phrases that NeuronWriter is recommending because I actually didn't have any of these terms in my heading or in my meta description. And the Neuron Writer also shows you how this is going to look in Google results, which is helpful. Once you do that, you just save and close. And after making these few changes, I'm actually up, my score is up to 72. After you finish optimizing your article, you can review your content score checklist, and this will let you know how well you've integrated um, natural language processing throughout your article. It'll also let you know if you've over-optimized which is basically um, if you've done like keyword stuffing or doing things that could potentially get you banned from Google because they think you're trying to game the system. And you can also get a readability score. So it lets you know how complicated your writing is. You wanna make sure that you're not writing in an overly complicated way. So I have basically I've gone through my, my terms, my article terms, my article headers, and then my article metadata and integrated NeuronWriter's suggestion to get my score up from like a 54 to a 72. Other ways you can use NeuronWriter to optimize your article is you can actually go through. So this panel has several different um, sections. There is a, an outline section, and it shows you a variety of information. First is what, how your competitors' articles are structured. So it shows you the top H1 to H3 headers that are used in your competitor articles. So you could consider like if you want to swap out some of um, the, the your paragraph headers. It also gives you um, a smart headings section, which are specific recommendations on headers to use. It also shows you a list of questions that are appear in Google's um, people also ask section. So it brings this right into your Neuron Writer panel. And this is really helpful for creating FAQs. After you find a few like um, FAQs that you want to include in your article, you can actually have NeuronWriter answer those for you. 
So if you go into the AI writing section, which is right next to outline, and you go into standard, you can select the expand text option, and you input your question, and you can tweak these generation settings so you can set the level of creativity. Um, I kind of keep it at medium, but if you want it to try to humanize it more to not make it sound so robotic, you could choose high. You can also select GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. So we'll use GPT 4. And, um, and then you basically just click, make sure your cursor is placed where you want the text to appear and just click write for me and NeuronWriter will produce the content for you. So it created, uh, generated this answer to my question, what are the best AI tools for writing code? And the, it gave me a really great response. It gave me a lot of very specific um, applications. GitHub, Copilot, Codata, um, or Codota, Codata, Tab9, Kite, Amazon Code Whisperer. So I actually want to use this as a section of my article instead of just an FAQ because it's so in-depth that um, I think it's better to include in the actual content of my final article. area that um, NeuronWriter can help you well, is um, you, you can actually source videos and stock images for your content if you need it. So you can have it automatically search YouTube for um, content that matches your keyword and it pulls it right up and you can automatically embed it into your article by just clicking the embed button. It gives you the embed code and you just stick it in where you want it. And you can do the same thing for stock images. And so it'll shoot, it'll find free images that you can use without having to worry about copyright. Um, you just click it open and you can either hot link it or you can download it from Unsplash. So this is a synopsis. So basically this is a, just gives you like an overview of, a, of a neuron writer optimization workflow how you can take content that you've already created and improve it make it better more readable check the video description i'll have this workflow in a google doc um so in case you miss any of the steps i'll have everything outlined in addition to a link to neuron writer and a link to the AppSumo deal and also the free trial